Thank you for your interest in our public meeting for the State Road 500 U.S. 441 Widening and Reconstruction Design Project. The Florida Department of Transportation is conducting this public meeting concerning the proposed widening of State Road 500 U.S. 441 from a four-lane rural roadway to a six-lane high-speed urban roadway. The project limits are from north of State Road 46 or 1st Street to State Road 44, also known as Donnelly Avenue. The public meeting will be held on January 27, 2015 at the Mount Dora Community Center, 520 North Baker Street in Mount Dora. The meeting will be an open house from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. This presentation will be shown on a continuous loop throughout the meeting and project maps and other information will be on display for public review and comments. The Florida Department of Transportation complies with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns relative to FDOT compliance with Title VI and or Title VIII may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, FDOT District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or by email at jennifer.smith2 at dot state.fl.us, or you may contact Jacqueline Paramore, the State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or by email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. All inquiries or complaints will be handled according to FDOT procedure and in a prompt and courteous manner. The purpose of this public meeting is to present design concepts for this project to the public. Members of the project team will be available to discuss the project and answer your questions. This presentation will include the purpose of the public meeting, a project overview, a description of the proposed improvement, information about access management, the project schedule, how you can get more information about the project, ways you can comment, and project team contact information. The project limits begin north of State Road 46 or 1st Street and end at State Road 44 Donnelly Avenue for a distance of approximately two miles. The existing road throughout the project limits is a four-lane divided rural roadway. There are five-foot paved shoulders bordering the outside travel lanes on both sides of the road. The posted speed limit is 55 miles per hour. This is an illustration of the proposed widening improvement. The existing four-lane rural roadway will be widened to a six-lane high-speed urban roadway. The proposed roadway will be widened to six 12-foot travel lanes, three in each direction, with a raised median, six and one-half foot paved inside shoulders, and seven foot paved outside shoulders that will accommodate bicycle lanes. The project includes a curb and gutter drainage system and a five-foot sidewalk on both sides of the road within the existing right-of-way. The recommended posted speed limit will be decreased from 55 to 50 miles per hour. Additional right-of-way will be required for storm drains and stormwater ponds. 
This project is consistent with regional and local transportation planning. The project will tie into the State Road 46 interchange to the south and the six-lane section west of State Road 44 to the north. The proposed improvements include an exclusive right turn lane at Donnelly Street southbound. The access management class will be changed from a Class 3 to Class 5 from Lincoln Avenue to State Road 44. As mentioned earlier, the project will tie into the State Road 46 interchange to the south and the six lane section west of State Road 44 to the north. Drainage improvements include proposed stormwater ponds and treatment facilities that will comply with local jurisdiction requirements and the St. Johns River Water Management District. Access management is the planning and control of the location, spacing, design, and operation of driveways, median openings, and street connections to a roadway. Access management designates where and how vehicles enter and exit a roadway, helps protect public investment in roadways, and improves public safety by preserving mobility, reducing delays, and minimizing crashes. By following access management principles, we can limit the number of conflict points on a roadway, separate the conflict points, reduce or remove the number of vehicles that turn or cross the lanes of traffic, remove excessive vehicle stacking from the lanes of traffic, improve safety, and improve roadway capacity. Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross. Each conflict point is a location that has the potential for a crash. The goal of this project is to limit the number of conflict points by constructing directional median openings. This will restrict the number of lanes vehicles can cross, which will in turn eliminate conflict points. This will increase safety along the roadway and reduce traffic delays. The location of median openings and the type of openings are based on roadway classifications and minimum separation or spacing standards. The standards used by the Florida Department of Transportation provide the optimal balance between access and mobility. U-turns are often much safer than direct left turns, especially on high volume, high speed, or congested roadways. They have also been shown to reduce the potential for accidents. Research on the safety of U-turns indicates that crashes causing injuries or fatalities are reduced by 27% and total crash rates are reduced by 18% through encouraging right turns followed by U-turns compared to direct left turns. Without access management, businesses can be hurt by congested high collision roadways near their entrances. In Central and South Florida, studies have shown that the majority of corridor business operators saw an increase or no change in their customer traffic. If you would like to learn more about access management, you can download a copy of the Florida Department of Transportation's Access Management brochure for more information. Go to the website at www.dot.state.fl.us and type Access Management Brochure in the search box at the upper right hand corner of the home page. The design phase for this project is estimated to be complete in early 2016. The construction cost estimate is currently $12.6 million. The project is not currently funded or scheduled for construction. For information about this project, please visit www.cflroads.com. This website is the FDOT's living platform to keep you and the public informed of ongoing and future projects. You are encouraged to visit this website, which contains the links to easy access to online information and to stay current with the status of the project. Once you have accessed the project website, you will be able to view the current project schedule details, 
project contact information, and access project files such as this presentation. On the main page from the pull-down menu labeled Road, select US 441, and then click in the search box. When the new page opens, click the link labeled Design, and then select the project number for this project, which is 429-356-1. We encourage you to attend the public meeting on Tuesday, January 27, 2015, from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. at the Mount Dora Community Building, 520 North Baker Street in Mount Dora. Project staff will be available to discuss the project and answer your questions throughout the meeting. You will have an opportunity to provide your verbal comments to the project team. You can also fill out a comment form at the meeting and drop it in the comments box, or take a comment form with you and mail it to the address shown on the form. If you are not able to attend the public meeting, you may still submit your comments. You can go online at www.cflroads.com and use the Submit Comments and Questions link on the project webpage. You may also email your comments to eileen.lestore at qcausa.com. All comments that are received by Friday, February 6, 2015, will become part of the public record for this meeting. You may also contact Matt Hassan, the FDOT Consultant Project Manager, or Eileen Lestore, the Consultant Public Involvement Coordinator by mail, telephone, or email. We appreciate your interest and participation in this important project. This presentation will begin to re-loop again in approximately 60 seconds.